I'm Abby. Welcome to my New York City kitchen where today we're making harissa pasta. So before anything, I have a nice high-sided saute pan that I've put already on medium to medium high heat. We want to get this heating up. I also have already cooked some spaghetti and saved about a cup of that pasta water. So if you're starting from the beginning of the recipe, you can put that water on to boil your pasta. And then we'll do the next part here. So it's hot. I always say you want cold oil in a hot pan. So our pot, our, our pan is hot now since I've had it on. I'm gonna put in some olive oil and you can see it spreading. So it's already getting nice and warm. And then we're gonna put in some diced onion. You can hear it sizzle, which I love. Somebody told me once that that sizzle is your applause. So everybody's clapping for you already in your pan. It means that it's nice and hot. And I'm gonna add some salt now because that salt helps to draw out moisture in my vegetables and helps them saute a little bit quicker. So we wanna get these translucent, maybe a little bit light golden brown. I'm lowering the heat to medium. So we're just gonna saute these for a couple minutes and then what we're going to put in next are some cherry tomatoes that we cut in half, some olives that we have also sliced in half, and some harissa, which is essentially red pepper paste or red pepper sauce. And you can get mild all the way to super spicy. So whatever you like, you know, as spicy or as not spicy as your taste buds allow. You can find it all at your grocery store. So in goes that harissa. In goes those tomatoes. Oh, it smells so nice. I'm gonna turn that heat back up again. We want those tomatoes to start breaking down. And then we're gonna add in our olives. So we've cut our olives in half here. You could also slice them smaller if you want to make sure that they're kind of spread throughout the dish or if you want them larger so people you know, notice that they're in there and present. Either way is great. Whatever you like is gonna be what works. So the next part here is we're gonna take our cover. I've got it over medium to medium high. I'm just gonna put the top on and I'm gonna let it cook for anywhere from five to 10 minutes and really start to break down. I also have some pasta water here. So I'm gonna keep checking in and maybe add a little pasta water. And, and what we use pasta water instead of regular water or broth is it has that starch in it. So it cooked with the pasta. That pasta releases starch. And so when we use starchy water, it will naturally thicken our sauce a bit without doing anything else. So that's why I love using pasta water. So I'm gonna add just a little bit in here and I'm gonna mix it around. We're really gonna turn up that heat and start to boil it. Like so. So the boiling, the starchy water, it's all gonna help our sauce get thicker. We can also add some ground black pepper here if you like. Throw some of that in there. Or you could use red pepper flakes or chili pepper if you like it to even more spicy. Okay, but you can see now it's starting to boil. So we'll turn it down to a simmer and leave that top on. Okay, so we'll give it a few minutes and then we're gonna check back and do the, the last part of our harissa pasta. Okay, so this is the consistency of sauce that I like. It's thickened up a bit, but I like to keep my cherry tomatoes intact a little bit. 
So I'm gonna take our pasta and I'm gonna put it right into the sauce. And then I'm just gonna let it unravel here and mix it in. Really try to get this all incorporated. You could use a short pasta if you prefer, like a rigatoni or a penne or a rotini. I do like a spaghetti or an angel hair or a fettuccine with this type of sauce though. But again, you're the one who's eating it and that's what's so great about cooking is you can make tweaks based on your personal preferences, right? So I'm just gonna take our plate here and move some of this over. We'll get some of our gorgeous tomatoes and olives right up top. And of course, we also have some chiffonade basil, which is just ribbons of basil. And you could serve this with some grated Parmesan cheese or Pecorino Romano, whatever you like. It'll add a nice, you know, little salty, cheesy bite to it. But here you go. Once again, I'm Abby. This is my Harissa pasta. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.